Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, I'm going to present you some handy plugins and library that can streamline your test automation with Cypress. So I've prepared this mind map in which I have mentioned the name of the plugin or the library. And I have also attached the link to the official GitHub page or NPM page. So let's get started. So the first one is Cypress Dark. If you're a big fan of darker mode, you can start using this plugin. And this plugin even has a Halloween theme that laughs at you when your test case fails. So it's quite different and really interesting to use. What you can do, if you want to learn more about it, how to install it and how to configure it, just have to click on this link from here and it will take you to the official GitHub page of this plugin. And from here, you can see how to install it, how to configure it in your Cypress test case. You can read more about it. They've added all the steps over here, how to install it. The NPM command is mentioned over here. Now going back to the second one, which is Faker library. So using which you can generate the random data. For example, if you want to generate a random emails, phone number or password, first name, you can just start using Faker library. If you want to check out the GitHub page, just click on this one and it will take you to the official page. And from here, you can read more about it, how to install it in your project. So they have also provided this NPM command. You just have to use this and install it. And they have provided all the features. If you want to generate a random address or zip codes, you can start using different, different features from the Faker library. Fine. I've also created a separate video on this. If you want to learn more about it, you can watch that video and start using it in your project. Now going back to the third one, which is Cypress Cucumber preprocessor. If you want to integrate your Cypress test case with Kumba preprocessor, or if you want to write it in the Gherkin format, for example, given when then you can start using this Cypress Cucumber preprocessor in your Cypress project. So in order to install it or read more about it, just navigate to this official page. It will take you to the NPM page of this Cypress Cucumber preprocessor. You can read more about it, how to install it, how to use it in your project. So they have also provided the command over here and, and how to add it in your project. They have provided the configuration. So if you're using the latest version of Cypress, which is above 10, then you need to add this configuration in your cypress.config.js. But if you're using Cypress version below 10, you can follow this instructions and you can read more about the other configuration from here, how to use it in your test case. They have also provided one sample feature file. Now going to the next one, which is ESLint plugin Cypress. So this is a plugin which is specifically designed to provide linting rules which are tailored for Cypress test and configuration. It helps to maintain the consistency and best practices when writing your Cypress test case. So it can detect the common errors and the issues. You can just click on this and read more about it from the NPM page. So how to install it and how, how to start using it in your project. They have provided all the steps over here. You can even go to their GitHub page and check more details, right? Now going back to the mind map and the next one is Cypress image snapshot, which is basically used to perform screenshot testing in Cypress. So what it does, it compares your baseline image with the current image and check if there is any difference between the both. And if there is any difference, it takes a screenshot of that and highlight the area, which has a difference. And again, if you want to read more, you can just navigate to this one and it will take you to the GitHub page of that and how to use it, how to install it. It's all provided over here. Fine. I have also attached all the links in the mind map so that if you want to read more about it, if you want to go to their official web page, easily navigate to that. Fine. I'll be sharing this mind map in the comment section. If you want to download and share it with others, you can easily do that. Now let's see the other one, which is Cypress plugin API. It's basically used for effective API test. It gives you a postman kind of view in your Cypress test execution screen. So basically it prints out all the information about the API call in the Cypress app UI. So just click on the link and you can read more about it. This is developed by Philip. You can see how we can install it. This is if you're using NPM or if you're using YARN, you can use any of these commands and start importing it in your project. I personally use it and it's very useful. It gives you a very good view where you can see all the API related details on the Cypress UI only. Now the next one is Cypress grep. So this is used to filter the test cases based on their name using a regular expression pattern. So this is helpful when you want to run a subset of tests that matches a specific criteria. For example, a keyword or a pattern in the test name. Again, if you want to read more about it, you can just click on this one and you can read more about it from here, how to use it. They've also provided one example over here. For example, if you want to run only test case, which has hello in their names. So you have to pass it 
in this way grep equals to hello and then it will only run those test cases which has which has hello in their name and all the other test cases would be skipped so you can read more about the installation process and and how to use it in your cypress test case easily from this page now the next one is cypress the watch and reload so if you want to reload your test case when any of the source files change then you can start using this plugin so by default cypress reload the test case when there is any change in the spec file but if there is any change in the source file it does not reload your test case if you want to do that you can start using this plugin it's very handy and very easy to use you can read more about it from here so this is developed by glib you can start using it how to install and if you're using cypress version 10 and above they have provided all the configuration now going back next one is shopify cypress graphql so basically this is used for intercepting and testing graphql endpoints if you are using graphql in your project you can start using it so you can navigate to the official github page from here and you can read more about it how to install it right so but here also they have provided both yarn and npm command and how to use it in your project you can start following the instructions on the page now going back to the next one which is cypress key clock commands so this plugin provides custom commands for interacting with the key clock which is an open source identity and access management solution so it simplifies the process of performing authentication and authorization actions in your cypress test case when you're application relies on key clock for the user authentication it's very useful if you want to read more about it just navigate to this page and you can read how to install it and how to set up this in your project the next one is cypress mailer sort so using this plugin you can test email and sms messages with cypress you can capture the emails with your own fake smtp servers if you want to read more about it because this is very interesting and very useful you can just navigate to their official github page just click on this one read how to to set this up in your project and they have also provided some basic description what is the plugin about and what is mailer sort how we can test email with cypress they have provided step by step description so you can read more about it from here and start using it in your project next one is concurrently which is basically used to run multiple npm commands together so this is helpful when you have multiple scripts and you want to run all the scripts in parallel the normal way is to use npm run command name for example if you want to run multiple commands what we do we use npm run command 1 and npm run command 2 but if one of the process fail the other one will keep on running so you will not notice what is the difference over here and it's very difficult to identify the different outputs so in that case you can use this command and its output is also very easy to understand you can start using it if you want to read more about it just navigate to github page and over here you can see this has 6.7k stars which is a good number and from here you can see how to start using it you can explore more about it. really very helpful i have been using it in my personal project and it's very useful now going back to the other one which is cypress testing library so this actually provides the utility and best practices for testing in cypress using the principles of testing library family so it encourages writing testing that focus on user interaction rather than the implementation detail if you want to explore more about it you can just click on this one and it will take you to their github page and you can read more about it so they have provided multiple examples over here and how to start using it in your project so this is the npm command and how to use it with a typescript how to use it with a javascript they have provided all the steps over here now going back to the last one which is cypress failed log so this plugin helps with debugging and checking your test failures in cypress by automatically capturing the logs and screenshots for the failure test case so this is also very helpful it provides you the detailed information about the failure context so that you can identify the issues quite easily how to install it and how to start using it for that just click on this one and from the github page you can start reading more about it how to use it so they have provided step by step description how, how we can use it in our project they have also provided one sample example over here so you can explore more about it from this page so these are couple of plugins and libraries which i've added in this mind map so apart from this one there are also couple of plugins which are very helpful i'll be covering that in a separate video in this mind map i have also attached one line a description about each of the library and the plugins which i have mentioned over here for example if you want to know what is faker about so you can see i have added it generates fake data like phone number e email if you want to know what is cypress mail or all you can just click on this one and you will see a quick description it test email and sms messages so this is just for the quick reference you can 
check all the description over here and if you want to explore more about it i have attached the link to that official github page or npm page so i'll be sharing this mind map in the comment section as well i hope you find it useful and if you are already using this plugin let me know in the comment and if there is anything which you are using and it's not mentioned in the mind map let me know in that case as well so i'll be preparing a separate video where i will be sharing some couple of other plugins as well which are very helpful if you like the content please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching